So we're starting the week on a Sunday, laying down some stripes, and that's because we're trying to get ahead for the week. Sometimes you've just got to put the work in in order to get ahead and that's exactly why I'm out with the Trimax Pegasus laying down some stripes on a Sunday. Hopefully it will make this week a lot easier especially as we've got some staff holiday and things like that. But anyway, let's enjoy those stripes. It is now Monday, it is 10 past six and we're on site where I finished the stripes yesterday in the tractor. We're getting all of the kit off, we've got all of the small areas of grass to do this morning, all of the strimming and preparing the field, line markings, etc. However, next week sees the initial line marks for all the athletics tracks and stuff, so we've only got one football pitch to line mark here which is going to save us a lot of time there is forecast rain today at around 8 until 10 hopefully we can get this sorted before the rain comes and hopefully it doesn't hamper the day too much let's get the kit off and get on with it so we start getting all of the mowers off of the trailer all of the kit refueled and ready mr x is on the strimmer ash is on the right and i'm going to be donning the hustler super 104 and we just get started straight away, you know the score, all the mowing, strimming and blowing. Right, all of the large areas are now done at the school. There's a few little fiddly bits that the lads are still continuing with. So I'm now going to jump in the tractor and head to the next site. And just like that, I'm over there. This is a really large site and we've got lots of grass to be getting on with. So as per usual, the GPS is firing up and I'm going to start with the boundaries and then start setting the stripes. I've had quite a few comments asking me to explain how the GPS works, so let me quickly show you. So we've got this GPS receiver on the top which is in a fixed position, it's drilled into the top of the tractor. And there are several base stations across the, all of the UK and it will connect to the nearest base station. Once it's done that, because we've inputted all the data about the tractor, so where the receiver is in location to the rear hitch, the width of the tractor, the length of the tractor, the wheelbase, literally everything. We then dial in the implements so we let the GPS system know how far back it is from the receiver and how wide the implement is. Now that then means when we're connected to all of our satellites it knows our location on the ground and it knows exactly where the tractor should be. And then the auto system just adjusts to the AB lines we've set in. Now the AB lines are pretty much just a reference so say for example we're doing a football pitch we'll line the trimax up at one end of the football pitch next to the sideline drive to the bottom punch in b and then it knows what the straight line it is to follow and that's basically how it works if you want me to go more in depth with it i'm quite happy to ask elliot from erh whether he's up for producing a video with us to explain in depth how gps systems work and specifically the chc nav anyway i'm going to crack on now we're all connected get the boundaries done, get the stripes in. I always start off with the boundaries and that's so when I get to either end, I've got some space to turn around. But now the boundaries are done, I can start on the AB lines and start getting those stripes down. Traveling at eight mile an hour today, I can go faster. However, I'm taking it a little bit slower so the Trimax Pegasus doesn't bounce and we get a nice, beautiful, even cut. The lads are now here, so they're gonna get the kit off and crack on with their bits. Now that all the mowing is done and the fields are striped, we've now got to do the cricket squares. So we've got to start preparing these, so we're going to get these mowed and we're just going to do some levelling 
and a little bit of top dressing and overseeding whilst we're here. So the grounds team here have got a tractor with a front loader and they use that to move the top dresser across whilst Jack is mowing the squares and once he's mowed a section I can start levelling the wickets out. I'm using a loot off of Amazon, it's brilliant, I'll leave a link in the description. Whilst we're doing that, Ash is doing all of the line marking and we've got another square to do and it's all coming together. Right, we are all sorted here. Ash is just finishing up some of the final line marking. I'm going to jump in the tractor and head to the next site. It's another cricket site. And yet again, we're just going to start with the boundary. And once the boundaries are done, I can start with the outfield. Nice circular stripes around the square. I've already infilled around the square, so we can start putting those nice parallel circle stripes around it to outset it. The lads are now here, so they're going to do all of the outside areas. Once that's done, I need to get the cricket square mowed and prepped. And we are all sorted. Happy days. Squares cut, outfield is cut. All of the surrounding areas, all the streaming and all of that good stuff. Happy days. Now, we're going to be doing something a little bit different this week. We're going to be testing the YouTube algorithm. So every day is going to be on a separate video. Very shortly, a video is going to pop up here. Click on that and you'll be able to see Tuesday. If you've liked today, put a little thumbs up on the video and we'll see what day gets the most likes. We're going to be changing up that editing style on every video. And it's, this is going to be a test for a few weeks to see which type of editing style gets the most likes. So help us shape the future. Click here and we'll see you tomorrow.